Hi guys, I'm James and this is Lewis uh, and we're going to take you through a warm up to start today's session. Uh, but if you haven't already read the disclaimer, please read that in the comments below. Okay, right guys, if we start you off with some glute bridges, Lewis, so if you want to get onto your back. So we'll start off with one of our favorite activation exercises, a glute bridge. So you're going to press down through the heels, push the hips up and squeeze the glutes at the top. And we're going to go for 10 reps of this one. And the idea here is we're going to try and wake the glutes up at the start of the session. So that's where we should be feeling most of the work in the glutes, in your bum essentially, uh, and not too much in the hamstrings, the back of the thigh or the quads, the front of the thigh. After that, we're going to go into a mobilization and we're going to start off with the downward dog. So starting for a press up position and then push your hips as high as you can, keeping the legs straight and the back flat. And we're looking to feel this big stretch all at the back of the leg and focus on sort of relaxing the heels down towards the floor. And again, feeling that big stretch through the calves and into the hamstrings, as well as opening up the shoulders and getting some nice upward rotation through the shoulder blades at the same time. We go for eight reps of this one. And then after that, we're going to go into some world's greatest stretch or groiners, as they're sometimes called. So we're going to focus on getting that one leg up nice and high outside the hands and then a nice big reach up overhead, following your hand with your eyes. So following it all the way up and we're getting a nice dynamic stretch through the hip flexors, through the hamstring, as well as some rotation through the thoracic spine. Uh, and we're going to go for eight reps in total of this one, four on each side. Looking good, Lewis. Don't worry if you can't get quite as, uh, as get your foot quite as high up as Lewis can. Just go as high as you comfortably can. Well done. Okay, next up we're going to go into some overhead squats. So feet shoulder width apart, arms up overhead, elbows straight, palms facing in. And then we're going to try and hit this nice deep squat position, keeping the knees in line with the toes and try not to let the arms fall forward. So don't worry if they do fall forward a little bit, you're just going to try and keep them up as high as you can. And again, making sure those knees are lined up with the toes and aiming to hit a nice deep squat position. Great job. Okay, we'll finish the warm up with a multi-directional lunge. So what that looks like is one big lunge forward, drive back to the start position, one sideways, keeping the opposite leg straight, one backwards, and then change legs. Again, so driving off that front leg, driving off the side leg, nice and positive, and one reverse lunge. Okay, now we're all up, guys, thanks. Okay guys, now we're all warmed up, let's get into our strength and core session. Uh, in today's session, we're gonna be working at two tri-sets, so two groups of three exercises. Our first tri-set uh, is gonna start off with a skater squat, which uh, Lewis is gonna demo for us here. So standing on one leg, we're gonna think about dropping the other knee down towards the floor. Now here, you're just gonna work at a range that's comfortable to you. So if you're strong enough, you can go all the way to the point where that back knee touches the floor, or we can go for a smaller range. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to have a stack of books or a ball that you're working down to, to go down to you touch the back knee to that, to that ob object. Uh, or the other option is that you go hand supported and put your hand on a chair or something to give you help, uh, a bit of a help with the strength and stability. Uh, the next exercise is a three point press up. So what we're gonna do is do a press up with one leg lifted in the air. And we're gonna go for 10 reps on this one. And for the first five, you're gonna hold one leg in the air and then you're gonna switch legs and go with the opposite leg in the air for the remainder of the reps. If that one's too tough, you can go with a regular press up. Okay, so just a regular uh, press up from a full press up position. Uh, which is a little bit easier, or if that's too hard, we can go from our press-ups from the knees. So again, just go with whichever variation is best for you. Uh, and then our third exercise in this sequence is a dead bug. So we've got two options for you. Uh, Lewis, if we show them the easier option first. So easy option, just go to hands down by the side. So lower back is pushed firmly into the floor and that's the crucial thing is that the back is pressed down into the floor throughout and core muscles engaged. And then we're just gonna drop one leg at a time down towards the floor. So this would be our easier option. And again, we should feel all the work through the core muscles, nothing through the lower back. If that's easy, we're gonna press in with one hand. So same arm, same leg. You're gonna push into the leg with as much resistance as you can comfortably tolerate, and then drop the same arm and the same leg down towards the floor. Uh, and again, we should keep all the back, lower back pushed into the floor and feel the work through the core muscles. And with that one, we're gonna go for 12 reps on one side and then 12 reps on the other side. Okay. Ready, Lewis? I'm ready. Let's crack into it. So we're going to go for two sets of each of these. So starting off with the skater squats. Really nice. So think about dropping that back knee down towards the floor. 
Tricky one to stabilize because you're literally on one leg the whole time, but if you do need to touch down with the foot to stabilize, that's absolutely fine. And again, just working at a range that's comfortable for you. So Lewis is doing a good job of getting a nice big range with this one. Good man, well done. Really nice, well done, keep it up. And just eight reps. Looking good, Lewis, looking good. Make sure you keep the heel down, don't let the weight shift towards the ball of the foot, really nice. Uh, and then let's switch legs when you're ready. So it's normal to a one leg to feel a little bit easier or harder than the other. And we're just gonna go to a range that feels comfortable on the weaker leg. Looking good, so Lewis is able to touch down on both legs, we're doing well. As you can see though, it's a tricky one to stabilize, so be patient with it, take your time. Very nice. How many is that? Well done, good job, good job. Okay, on to the press ups next. And we're gonna go with a three point variation. So that's that with that one foot up in the air. And it just makes it slightly more challenging. So again, we're gonna keep this nice A shape with the elbows tucked in. Really nice. And we're gonna go for 10 reps today, but feel free to do more or less uh, if you find it challenging or if it's very easy. And we're just gonna swap over the opposite leg at the halfway point. Really nice, Lewis, well done. Okay, let's go into our dead bugs next. So Lewis is gonna go with the harder variation, and that's with that manual resistance. Important thing to think about is pressing into the thigh rather than down on the knee. And what that does is create a little bit more rotational force that the abdominal muscles and core muscles have to work against because there's that more rotational force on the pelvis. Really nice. So we should be getting a lot of work here through the abdominals, through the anterior core muscles. And we can either go with head on the floor or head lifted up, whichever one feels better for you. Really nice, Lewis, well done. And changing legs. So nice, slow and controlled tempo. Lewis's tempo is lovely here. Nice little pause at the end of the range. Really nice. Looking good. Great stuff, well done. Okay, that's the first round of the first tri set, so we'll have a little breather there, uh, and then we'll do one more round of that three. How was the first round? Yeah, fine. Yeah? Fine. Good? Yeah. Scaly squats are looking good? They? Yeah, yeah. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> Scaly squats not one of Lewis's favorite exercises, but I think uh, he's, he's progressed over the weeks while we've been doing them. And the press ups? Yeah, press ups fine. I, I feel as I lifted. The opposite leg, I can feel more pressure on the, the opposite pet. Sure, yeah. Shifting the weight around. Yeah, that's it. There's a little anti rotational component behind having one of the legs lifted. So, yeah, uh, good. I like this. Nice little variation if you've been doing lots of press ups recently. Okay, let's, uh, let's go into our second set. So, starting with the skater squats again. So, again, thinking about dropping that back knee down towards the floor. If you can get it to touch the floor, that's great. If not, don't worry. And again, because it is what we call a, a, an unsupported single leg exercise, because the other leg doesn't provide any stability, it means it is a challenging one to stabilize. So don't worry if you wobble around a bit, take your time, put the foot the other foot down if you need to, to stabilize. If you find it really tough, again, you can rest your hands on something in front of you, like a chair. Looking good, Lewis, well done. And think. Nice, slow, controlled tempo on the way down, keeping the knee in line with the toe. Watch out that the knee doesn't start to drift inwards. Great job, Lewis, looking good, looking good. Yeah, well done. Fantastic, very nice. Number eight. eight. Great job. Okay, let's go into our press-ups next. So those three-point press-ups. So nice, slow, controlled tempo, 
drive back up. Think about staying braced through the middle. Don't let the hips sag down. As I said, this is a slightly more challenging variation on the core muscles, on the hip stabilizers. Looking good. Really nice, well done, well done. Okay, and we'll finish this tricep with the dead bugs. So lower back firmly pressed into the floor. And the nice thing about this variation is you can make it as easy or as hard as you like. So if it does feel easy, you just press more firmly into the thigh. That creates more rotational force for the core muscles to work against. Looking good, looking good. You see Lewis is doing a great job of keeping his lower back pushed into the floor. We're not seeing any space under there. Very nice. Looking good. Try not to rush these at home. Nice, slow, controlled tempo. Great job, well done, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna give Lewis a little breather. Uh, and while he's having a little rest, let's talk about the, uh, the next exercises. So, the first exercise I'm gonna give you two options for, okay? So, uh, the easier option will be a lateral squat, okay? So we go feet very wide, toes pointed forward, and you're gonna drop the hips down towards the heel, push back to the middle, and then we're gonna go down to the opposite side. Again, getting as low as you comfortably can, thinking about pushing the hips back and keeping the chest up. And we get a nice big stretch of the adductors as you go down. So that's the easier option. The harder option is what we call a Cossack squat. And for this one, we're gonna turn the feet out and then we're gonna drop as low as you can down towards the heel. We lift the toe up on the opposite foot, we drive back up to the start position and then go down to the other side. And this is a more challenging variation because we're gonna go through a bigger range, but it also requires more mobility through the ankle and more flexibility through the hamstring and the groin. So go with whichever one feels better for you. Uh, Lewis, can you demonstrate the next one for us, the uh, adductor bridge? So we're using a bench for this one, but you can use a chair. Uh, if you're using a chair, you might want to pop a pillow on top just to make it more comfortable. And essentially what we're going to do, top leg goes on the bench, bottom leg resting on the elbow, and we're going to bridge up into this position at the top, little pause and down. And it's the adductor, the inside of the thigh on that top leg that's doing all the work there. There we go, Lewis, don't do too many reps, I don't want to tire you out. And then uh, the last one in this sequence is a hollow body hold, which has been one of our favorites over the last few weeks. Uh, so hollow body hold, nice core exercise. <laughs> 30 seconds. Uh, so we've got a few different variations. If we go hardest to easiest. So hardest variation, arms extended, legs nice and low down, lower back is into the floor, shoulders are up off the mat. Easier one, arms down by the side. And then the easiest one with the knees bent. So go with whichever variation is better for you. Essentially, the closer your feet come towards your hips, the easier it's gonna be. Okay, need a bit longer rest or are you ready to go? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna go in with either the lateral squat or the Cossack squat. Which one do you wanna go for, Lewis? Uh, I wanna try the Cossack and see Good man, goes. good man. You can with these ones, you can just work at a range that's good for you. So even if you can't get all the way down, you can go as low as you comfortably can. It's almost as much of a mobility exercise as it is as a strength exercise. Really nice. Yeah, Lewis, you've got a good range here. Fantastic work. So really think about pushing that knee as far forward as you can in the bottom position. And we should be getting this nice stretch through the adductors and the hamstring on that straight leg. Really nice, great stuff. And we're gonna go 10 reps on each side. Nice slow controlled tempo, great stuff this, well done. But again, at home, if this one is too challenging for you, then a lateral squat is a nice progression to working up to doing these uh, full Cossack squats. Very nice. How many is that? 18. Great work, well done, excellent stuff. 
Okay, so from an adductor lengthening exercise to an adductor strengthening exercise, as we're gonna go in with our Copenhagen adductor bridge next. So there's a couple of different ways of performing this one, but we're gonna do this one for reps rather than a hold. So we're gonna get that top leg on the bench, and then we're pressing that top knee into the bench, pulling the hips up, and we should again be feeling all of that work in the adductor, so the inside of the thigh on that top leg. But we're gonna go for 10 reps, but at home feel free to adjust the reps so you can go fewer reps if it's tough or more reps if you find it comfortable. But it is a deceptively tough one. Looking good, Lewis, well done. If you didn't have anything to use at home, if you couldn't find a chair that was suitable, you can perform a similar version with uh, the leg straight with the, the bottom leg on the floor rather than on a bench. But most chairs will work absolutely fine with this one. Looking good. Really nice, Lewis. Feel all that work in the adductor? Yeah. Good man. One side easier than the other or pretty Perfect. similar? No, pretty similar. Good man, good stuff. Do it a lot during the end, last few reps. Cool. Okay, into our hollow body hold next, and we'll go in three, two, one, and let's go. So we're aiming for a 30 second hold on this one. So remember, we're gonna try and get the shoulders up off the mat. Lewis has gone for the hardest variation here. Looking good. And again, we should be getting all the work through the abdominals, through the anterior core muscles, nothing in the back. You do start to feel it go to the back, switch to one of the easier variations. Last five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest up there. Right, we'll give you a bit of a breather, and then we've got one more round of those three, and that's all the hard work done. How are those ones? Yeah, they're good, actually. Good? Cossack squats look good? Yeah, not better than I've done yeah, before. Yeah, excellent, excellent. As I said, it's as much as a, of a mobility <laughs> exercise. <laughs> That's it, yeah. He was trying to tell me he couldn't do them before, but no, no none of it. Yeah, it's almost as much as a, of a mobility exercise as anything else as a, as a strength exercise, because it does require a lot of ankle mobility and flexibility through the groin and the adductors, groin and the hamstring, sorry. Okay, ready to go again? Yeah. Let's go for it. Okay, so 10 Cossack squats on each leg. Really nice. So you might find after that first set has opened your hips and the ankles up, you might be able to go slightly deeper on the next one. But again, we're just going at a range that's comfortable for you. Really nice though, it's looking good. It's about driving that knee forward as you go down, but keeping the heel down on the floor. That's often the thing that people find most challenging with this one is the, uh, the ankle mobility required. Looking good. Great stuff, well done, really nice. Okay, let's go for those adductor bridges next. So top leg on the bench, and we're gonna pull up using that adductor on the top leg. Really nice, so again, we should be getting all of this on the inside of the thigh. Looking good. Got a little bit of work for the obliques too. So you might be feeling a bit of the obliques on the, uh, the same side as the elbows down. Really nice, Lewis, well done. Part of the second time. Part of the second time? Yeah. 10 reps about right? Yeah, about right. Good. So as I said, at home we can always go fewer reps or more if you want to. And again, we're going for two sets of everything in today's session, but if you wanted to make it a longer workout, you could extend that to three sets. Looking good, Lewis, really nice. Fantastic work, spot on. Okay, and we'll finish the session with a hollow body hold. So we'll go in three, two, one, and let's go. Okay, so lovely position here, really nice. Again, make sure we got this nice dish shape all the way down. 
the ribs are down, the pelvis is rotated up. We're into our last 10 seconds, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Great job. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you see next you time. time.